protests as we speak in the streets of downtown Portland. And tonight, Mayor Ted Wheeler is making an appearance. In fact, the mayor is there with demonstrators answering questions as we speak. I believe we have a live look at what's unfolding right now. So, yeah, we can see these demonstrators up on that podium. They're speaking to this crowd. And right there uh, with the mask on, you can see Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler. He is addressing the crowd. Let's try to listen in uh, for a few minutes. Black Lives Matter! Okay, again, so this is a live look right in front of the Justice Center. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler has been down there for the past 40 minutes or so, and what we saw was a microphone was being passed around, and demonstrators were asking the mayor some questions. Uh, the mayor said that he wants federal officers out of Portland. He said that if federal officers keep doing what they're doing here, we will see what's happening in Portland in many cities all across the country. And here is another question that demonstrators asked him tonight. Will you commit to working towards abolishing the Portland Police Bureau? Yes or no? No, I do not support that. Again, right there, if you couldn't hear that, they asked uh, Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler if he's in support of abolishing the police bureau, and he said no. And I believe we have that live shot up. We might be able to show you what's happening uh, again out there. There we go. So we're going to keep a close eye uh, on this situation, and we'll, of course, keep you updated with anything that happens down there at the Justice Center tonight. Again, Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler, uh, for the first time in a long time, addressing the crowd there tonight. They absolutely are targeting places where the community is demanding reform and demanding that we disarm, defund, um, and, and totally change how policing works in America. Strong words tonight from Portland City Commissioner Joanne Hardesty about what she says police are doing during protests on the streets of Portland. Tonight, she is apologizing for that claim, saying that it was misinformation. And we're now taking a deeper look at some of the problems we have seen night after night on the streets of Portland. Our Fox 12's Camilla Ortiz joins us now with that story. Yeah, Bonnie, earlier today, Commissioner Hardesty said she believes police are sending people into peaceful crowds to start problems. Portland Police Chief Chuck Lavelle responded, saying he's interested in seeing what evidence she has to support those accusations and calls the allegations completely false. Portland Police Association's president, Daryl Turner, says, quote, every one of the many videos we have seen confirms that small groups of rioters are starting the fires and trying to burn down buildings. So what have we seen when our crews have been downtown? So this is video from last night, and as you saw, fireworks were thrown at officers. We also know federal officers fired tear gas into the crowd at both peaceful protesters and agitators. Now this is video from our crews from last night. Protesters say police also fired rubber bullets. It's a scene that's really been consistent every morning this week. Now take a look. This video is from Tuesday morning. Federal officers used crowd control munitions to try to push hundreds of people back from the courthouse. Portland police say protesters tried to break into the building and used hammers and crowbars to break the plywood. There were several panels broken at City Hall, as you can see. We know that federal officers have arrested 42 people. 26 are facing federal charges, and some of those charges include assaulting a federal officer. As for Commissioner Hardesty, she did release an updated statement about her comments earlier today. She said, quote, today I let my emotions get the most of me during counsel and the comment I made to, made to the press, but I'm angry, frustrated, and horrified by what has happened these past 50 days. 
Every night I am terrified that someone will be killed because of an officer's inability to de-escalate or walk away from a situation, or my worst fear that those that seek to discredit protests are helping initiate it. I have always said we can disagree without being disagreeable, but today I did not meet that standard and I'm sorry. Commissioner Hardesty says she plans on holding a Zoom meeting tomorrow afternoon to answer any questions about the recent protests. Live in studio, Camilla Ortiz, Fox 12 Oregon.